five companies are now under investigation for their role in Saturday's fatal crane collapse in South Lake Union. Tonight we have new information about what led up to the collapse and reaction from those who knew the victims best. King 5's Chris Daniels is live from the site with what we've learned. Chris. Yeah, Lori and Mark, we've acquired the original permitting for this project, which shows that one of the contractors only asked for one road to be closed while they were doing that disassembly stories in the air. A new day brings a new perspective on the site of Saturday's collapse. New documents from Seattle's Department of Transportation shows the permit for the two day long disassembly noted that the work poses a hazard to the public, but that the contractor only asked for one road, Valley, to be closed during the operation. The crane debris fell on busy Mercer Street, killing two people on the ground, including former longtime city employee Alan Justat, who happened to be driving by. To have it happen to someone who uh, so many of us have known and have worked with closely over the years, it, it, it's Again, you just you kind of go back to that. That can't be true. That can't be right. Former Seattle City Council member Sally Clark worked with Just Add for years in his various roles at the Department of Planning and Development. His approach to problems really was uh, even keeled, smart, trying to do the best you can to take the drama out of it. And in Seattle, that can be tough with land use because it's such a full contact sport here. Another colleague, Brian Stevens, told King Five today. He was an excellent communicator and had a knack for understanding people, peeling away layers of concern and emotion to focus on the key issues for the public. His integrity was obvious, and his disarming personality and placid demeanor made him a mentor for some and a resource for many. Justin, whose wife passed away just a few years ago, is survived by three children. His friends tell us today they now wonder why the road was open for a complex disassembly operation that turned deadly. The company Omega Morgan, which filed that original permit for the disassembly, did not respond to an email request today for comment. The Seattle City Council is expected to call forward the Department of Construction and Inspections tomorrow morning to talk more about the accident and lessons learned going forward. That's the story for now, live in South Lake Union. I'm Chris Daniels, King 5 News. Chris, thank you. We have learned a memorial service will take place tomorrow for the Seattle Pacific University student killed in Saturday's crane accident. Freshman Sarah Wong was riding in the back of an Uber when the crane fell on the car. Tomorrow's memorial starts at 7 p.m. at the First Free Methodist Church right next to the SPU campus.